hey welcome or welcome back to 4F Beauty when will I be YouTube famous who knows what I do know is I've got a little mini tutorial coming up showing you how to find your perfect eyebrow shape here we go hey welcome back from the intro but I haven't filmed yet. Right, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to work out what shape your eyebrows should be. Now, you're probably thinking, what are you going on about? I know what shape my eyebrow is. I've got an eyebrow. What, what, what are you talking about? What I'm talking about is a lot of people have over plucked their eyebrows or have got thin eyebrows or sparse eyebrows either through genetics or um, medication they're taking and they need or they want to start plucking their eyebrow to get a nice shape and they're not sure where their arch should be where it should finish whether they should have a flat brow curved brow so what I'm going to do it's going to look a little bit odd I'm going to actually mark out with an eyeliner pen so you can see what I'm doing exactly how to work out your eyebrow shape right let's zoom you in a little bit to start with okay now you want something straight like a pencil or a brush anything that's completely straight sided because your bone structure will tell you where your eyebrows need to start, where they need to curve and where they need to stop. So, so if you've got a brush which tapers in, that's no good. It needs to have an absolutely dead flat side. So I'm going to use my normal eyeliner brush, pen, sort of type thing. I'm just going to rest it. And we're concentrating on this side. I'm just going to rest it next to my nose straight up. Okay, and I'm just going to mark there. Okay, so that's where my eyebrow should start. Now, put this outside edge straight through, keeping this bit at the bottom, right next to the bottom of your nose. So you're kind of like pushing your nose in, so you can't breathe. Okay, so run it through the middle of your iris, the black bit. No, that's the pupil. The iris is the colour bit. Run it straight through the little black pupil in the middle. That's where your arch should be. Or in my case, where my brow thins down because I've got quite straight brows. And then, take that pencil along until it's at the bottom of the coloured bit of your eye, your iris. And that's where your brow should finish if you're doing a straight brow. If you're doing a curved brow, that line needs to move down a bit. So if you're going to do a curved brow that comes down, It would curve down and it would still need to finish on here or if you've got a particularly wide face and you're trying to bring it in a little bit you can do it to the corner of your eye to there okay so straight brow finishes here Curved brow can finish on this one here if you want to bring it round. Now, for me personally, I have a straight brow. My bone structure, my brow doesn't automatically curve round. And I've tried doing that in the past. And to be quite honest, I didn't really like how it looked. So, for me, I find that the straight brow is actually the better option for me. So, I'm going to get a slightly darker because this 
Lila is awful. Right, I'm going to zoom in a wee bit more. Yep. There we go. So you can see now where the different lines are. So if you're having to completely redraw a brow on, your brow would start here, go reasonably straight to there, then you have the option. You can either continue straight like this or bring it down like this. Okay? And then the same thing here, that's where your brow would start. Going reasonably in a straight line to there. And you can either do that with it. Don't you just love it when things go awfully wrong? There we go. So you can either go in a straight line like that, or from here, you can curve it down to make your point there. All right, and then you can do whatever you like here. You can either curve it, you can, you can feather it, you can do whatever you like at this end. But these are the points of reference for your face. Okay, so that's where your brow starts. That's either the high point of the arch or where it then thins down. That's where it finishes if it's a straight brow. That's where it finishes if it's a curved brow. Okay? Now, hopefully, that's helped you. Obviously, if you're going to do this yourself, don't mark it out with a pen like this. Um, you can either use a pencil that you can then like smudge back out again um, or you can use like translucent powder just to mark where you want it to start or you can use your pencil itself and just do like a little dot there and then a little dot there, and then a little dot there, and that will also help in terms of, now obviously I've done this a lot lot thicker than I do normally because I'm just trying to emphasise a point. And obviously I use the brush end or you can use a spoolie if you've not got this like brush thing like I've got on, on my pencil and just spoolie through. If you've got one of the micro pencils you can do like almost like individual hair strokes but no matter what strokes you're going to be doing, these are the lines that will help guide you as to where your brow needs to finish and start and curve. So, as you can see, that's why I said everybody's will be slightly different because everybody's eyes and nose are slightly different. But by using the the pencil method it will help you determine the shape that you want your brows to be so now I look like a complete loony but hey what's new there so hope you found this little mini tutorial helpful if you did hit that like button Comment, subscribe. If you subscribe, hit that bell. 
and then you get told every time I upload another one of these videos. Okay, bye for now.